Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about a collection that's about to be released in July 15th. It's the Monogram Eclipse Collection. It's basically the regular monogram design but in a grayscale color scheme. So I've been doing some research online and I've been talking to a sales associate who has helped me with some further information on the forthcoming release. So today I just wanted to show you some of the things I've found and to give you more information and potentially you would know if you want to pre-order any of these. The best bet is to contact a sales associate at Louis Vuitton to see if you want to reserve any items in case some of these sell out. There's been conflicting information on whether or not this collection is going to be permanent or if it is seasonal. The description on the Louis Vuitton website makes it sound like this is special for the fall winter 2016 season. So in this release for the monogram Eclipse canvas, you pretty much have items that are standard to Louis Vuitton. So you have the keep ball in two different sizes, different wallets. But a, a few key pieces that I wanted to highlight in this video, one is the Pochette Voyage in the medium size. And this is basically the toiletry pouch 26 with a few differences. So this is the pretty much exact same size as a toiletry pouch. So it's the 26 centimeter version, which is about 10 inches across. But what's different about this is that it has a leather trim on top and the lining is not the waterproof lining. It's a textile lining. If you own some of the Taiga pieces, it's going to be the same lining. And then this has silver hardware instead of gold hardware with the regular monogram. And inside it says it has one flat internal pocket and six credit card slots. So this is definitely positioned more as a men's clutch as opposed to a toiletry bag since the interior is not waterproof and it's not washable like the other one. This one, I believe, will retail around $700 USD. And comparing that with the original toiletry pouch, that retails right now for $415. So it's definitely quite a bit more expensive. But the differences are what's inside, the lining, the strip of leather, and the silver metal grommet on the end of the zipper, which I think you can attach a, if you wanted to attach a strap or keychain or bag charm to it, that's possible. Another item I wanted to talk about is the box clutch. So this is a new silhouette, or it's a modified silhouette, and it measures about 11 by 16 centimeters and 3 centimeters in depth. So 16 centimeters is about 6 inches and 10 centimeters is about 4 inches. So it's about 6 by 4 inches and the depth is a little over an inch. And what this features is in the middle, it's leather. I'd have to see it in person to, to see exactly what type of leather it is, but it looks like a matte leather. It's probably similar to the leather used on the key ball if you buy it in the canvas versions like the uh, Damier Graffite. They say the strap is removable and inside there's four credit card slots and two flat pockets that are supposed to fit passports, uh, currencies, and tickets. And it also says that there's one external flat pocket which is in the back. This one, I don't exactly know what the price will be, but it seems like it'll probably be around $1,000 USD. 
The last item I wanted to talk about is the one that I am most interested in purchasing and the one that has been featured in the runway and in promotional pictures and that's the Messenger Voyage. The version that I've seen is the PM size but it also comes in a MM size. And one of the differences that I've seen that I've yet to confirm until they actually have it in store is whether the buckles will have a silver plate and if the grommet will have a silver metallic plate or if it's all going to be plastic. So this one from the front it looks pretty standard. On the side you can see that the flap is much more substantial and it covers the slot the sides which would make it more waterproof and there's also quite a bit of leather in this version compared to some other canvas Louis Vuitton messenger bags so for the PM size it's approximately 12 and a half by 9 by 3 and a half inches which the length and width would fit a MacBook 13 inch, MacBook Pro 13 inch perfectly, but based on these approximate measurements, it might not actually fit because it'll be too tight. And the MM size is listed as 15 by 11 by 4 inches. So that's a more standard messenger bag style. The first time I saw this was actually at a blog called the3f.com and that's the same blog that led me to purchase the Dior Homme Composite sunglasses. That was the first place I've seen them. And this is also the bat where I first saw it. I didn't really notice it when I originally watched the fall winter runway show. But I think the way it was styled on that website made it look nice. And I definitely would prefer the metal hardware over the plastic. So that could potentially be a deal breaker when it does finally arrive. I've already contacted the SA that I work with for men's accessories to reserve the item when it does come in on July 15th. So I'll confirm if it is indeed metal hardware or the buckles are all plastic. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, let me know in the comments if there's one that you're interested in. I'm kind of curious to know. And if you're interested in this collection overall, or are you more interested in the kind of brother collection, the Monogram Illusion, which is the all leather with the glossy monogram pattern. And those are, of course, substantially more expensive. And from what I've heard from the SA, the Messenger Voyage PM size will retail around 2200 USD. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like more of these videos, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And again, any questions, comments, leave it in the comment section below. And I definitely try to read everyone and Starting out now, I definitely do read everyone since I don't get too, too many comments and I try to respond if I can, if there's kind of a question or it makes sense for me to respond. So thank you for watching.